what the Bible says. The following scriptures are from Genesis 22. After these events, God tested and proved Abraham and said to him, Abraham. And he said, here I am. God said, take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the region of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering upon one of the mountains of which I will tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac, and he split the wood for the burnt offering, and then began the trip to the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance, and Abraham said to his servants, Settle down and stay here with the donkey, and I and the young man will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Then Abraham took the wood, for the burnt offering and laid it on the shoulders of Isaac, his son. And he took the fire, the fire pot in his own hand and a knife. And the two of them went on together. And Isaac said to Abraham, my father. And he said, here I am, my son. Isaac said, see, here are the fire and wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt sacrifice? Abraham said, my son, God himself will provide a lamb for the burnt offering. So the two went on together. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there. Then he laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar on the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took hold of the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. He answered, Here I am. And he said, Do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear and revere God since you have not held back from me or begrudged giving me your son, your only son. Then Abraham looked up and glanced around, and behold, behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering and an ascending sacrifice instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place the Lord will provide. And it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord, it will be provided. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I have sworn by myself, says the Lord, that since you have done this and have not withheld from me or begrudged giving me your son, your only son, and blessing, I will bless you. And in multiplying, I will multiply your descendants like the stars of the heaven and like the sand on the seashore. And your seed, heir, will possess the gate of his enemies and in your seed christ shall all the nations of the earth be blessed and by him bless themselves because you have heard and obeyed my voice so abraham returned to his servants and they rose up and went with him to beersheba there abraham lived now after these things it was told abraham milcah has also borne children to your brother nahor Uz, the firstborn, Buzz, his brother, Kimuel, the father of Aram, Chesed, Hazel, Pildash, Jidlaf, and Bethuel. Bethuel became the father of Rebekah. These eight Milchai bore to Nahor, Abraham's brother, and his concubine, whose name was Rumah, bore Teba, Gaham, Tahash, and Makah.